What's up everybody? I'm Coach Tyler with Fencer's Edge and we are back and I am so excited to be back and bringing you guys awesome content again. So get ready. Um, today we are going to be working on the timing of the arm and the feet. Okay, so working on the when you should extend your arm and how that timing relates to your footwork. Okay? Now this is great for catching your opponent in preparation. If you're a saber fencer off the line, you want to get that hand out really fast with a lot of acceleration so the referee can see that you are initiating your attack before them. It's also a really a uh, great tool in epe and in foil to uh, surprise your opponent and get there before they can react, okay? So this timing is a little bit faster extension of the arm, a little bit sooner as far as when you're performing the extension with the advanced lunge, okay? So um, for this one, I'm going to step with the front foot and then as soon as my back foot steps up, my arm is extending and then I'm shooting for the lunge, okay? So I'll demonstrate one more time. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, so my arm shoots out with that back foot stepping up with the advanced lunge, all right? So we're gonna practice this five times slow and then we'll add speed to it later. All right, so get in that on guard position, upper body centered, knees bent and front foot steps. As the back foot comes up, we're extending the arm and firing for that lunge. Okay, back to on guard, four more times. Ba, ba, ba. Good. And three more. Ba, ba, ba. Good. Two more. One, two, three. Good. And last one. One, two, three. All right. Excellent. Way to go. Now let's add some speed to that. All right. Again, concentrate on that timing of the extension happening with that back foot stepping up after the advance. All right. So here we go. Good. Good. Three more. Good. Two more. Good. And one more. Excellent. Excellent. Way to go. All right. So for our last one, we're going to talk about uh, changing the tempo of both the footwork and the extension. So um, up until this point, everything's kind of been one fluid tempo all the way through. We're just messing with the timing of when we're extending the arm. Now we're going to change the tempo throughout that action. So instead of it being one tempo advanced lunge, now we're going to change it where we're going to take slow fast go. So we're changing that tempo of the foot and the hand to catch our opponent off guard with the tempo change. Okay. So um, I'll demonstrate one more time and then uh, we'll practice it. All right, so for this one, I'm gonna have a nice slow step with the front foot, and then I'm gonna accelerate with the back foot and complete the lunge. So it's gonna be slow, accelerate, go. All right, so I'm lulling my opponent into a slow advance, and then I surprise them with a very fast, explosive finish, okay? So my front foot's gonna move slow, my back foot is gonna accelerate nice and fast, and then I'm gonna extend. So for this one, what the back foot does is really important. I don't want to take a slow step and bring this back foot all the way up and try to lunge from there, okay? That timing of bringing that back foot all the way up is gonna make your lunge a lot slower. So we wanna take a nice small step with the back foot there. So as you can see, I'm here, slow, and then I'm just kind of popping up nice and small with this back foot. Small and sharp. All right, one more time I'll demonstrate and then we'll practice it slow motion. So slow, pop, pop, all right? All right, so let's go five times, nice and slow. Slow, pop, pop, all right? 
Um, actually, I messed that up there. The arm should extend with that back foot stepping up. So one more time. Slow, pop, pop. Good. Again, one more time. Slow, pop, pop. Good. And two more. Ba, pop, pop. Good. So even though we're going slow, we're going to accelerate that back foot. Slow, accelerate, go. All right, excellent. Now let's add some speed to that, okay? Not speed on the first step. That first step should be nice and slow and smooth, and then the back foot accelerates and finishes, okay? We don't want to have a long pause in between the slow front step and a pause before that back foot comes up. So there should be a little bit of a delay, but it shouldn't be very long, okay? We don't want to come to a complete stop, all right? So for example, uh, all right, so we want to keep it smooth. We want to lull our opponent with that slow front step and then fast accelerating back foot. All right, so let's do this five times. Here we go. Ba, ba, ba. One, two, three, four, five. All right, great job, way to go. All right, everybody, that does it for this video. There are tons of ways to vary uh, your tempo and the timing of the arm extension. These are just a few, so I highly recommend you get on strip and play around and feel for different timings of the extension, different timing of the footwork, and see what works best for you. Huge thank you to everybody that has subscribed Huge thank you to everybody that is a Patreon supporter of this channel. Any amount that you can contribute will greatly help me produce more awesome content for you. So if you haven't already, please go to my Patreon page and consider becoming a supporter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you perform at your best. And until next time, guys, have fun, work hard, practice, stay motivated. I will see you guys in the next video.